just want to take a few seconds and, and show you how to modify the points or the nodes inside of a design. By modify, I mean right now you can see that this is a straight line and you can't you don't have the ability to really curve it right now to make it more of a curved line you can see you don't have any like angle lines to to um, go in and select to modify the shape but if you go in and you select a node I'm using the shape tool here so I have the shape tool selected and then I select this node I'm gonna right mouse click and let's say it let's go to um, symmetrical what symmetrical does is it changes this line to where it's a curved line and it's symmetrical on both sides meaning you modify one it's going to modify the other the same amount and um, let's go ahead and let's click on point number four and let's change it to symmetrical as well so what you're seeing here is the ability to create um, a curved uh, circular motion let's go ahead and click and drag this over here Let's go ahead and select this this guy over here and let's go ahead and drag him over. Let's right mouse click and you can see what I did is I just changed something that was a straight line into and made it a curved line. And you can do this with any design. Any time that you want to modify a corner or an edge, you can see how easy it is to do just using your selection tool. Um, right clicking and you can see you have these different options of line, cusp, smooth and symmetrical. So what we'll do is we'll kind of play around with these a little bit and um, just so you can see the the differences here. I'm going to come back here to this and I'm going to right mouse click and go to smooth. And you can see smooth is a, is a little bit different. When I drag this side you can notice that it doesn't modify the other side um, exactly the same. So I can come in and, and and modify each side, um, kind of more customize it where I wasn't able to do in in the other um, with the symmetrical. So I'm going to come in here and choose symmetrical and you'll see that as I drag one side it drags the other. So you can see there's a little bit difference uh, in how the the two operate. Symmetrical means it's symmetrical. It's going to do it the same on both sides. Uh, smooth just means that it's going to make a, a smooth node, meaning the line going into the point and out of the point is going to be curved and it's going to be smooth. So that's just a, um, just want to show you how to utilize the smooth um, node option as well. Now I'm going to come into this other design. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on my shape tool. And on this one, I'm going to, I'm going to select the, the entire you know all the all the nodes inside of here I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna to go to edit outlines and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select each and every one of these nodes here let's just take uh, number two three four five six and seven I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna click on smooth. You can see what I've done here is I've just kinda of smoothed those out and they're still selected. Um, whenever you're wanting to use the cusp tool, um, I'll show you how that works, but before you can turn something into a cusp where you can edit it, you need to have smooth um, nodes or points. So I'm gonna come in here now, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to cusp. And what you'll see is it looks the same right now as when I just had it with smooth, but what it allows you to do is I can come in here and select this and uh, the unique thing about a cusp is it treats each side of the line separately. So when I move this line, it does not move the other side of the line at all. So I can come in here and I can drag it down. I can take this side and I can move it and it doesn't affect the other side whatsoever. So let's come into this one and let's just say that we want to kind of just create a little little design here. So you can see how sometimes you'll want to modify one side of a element but not the other side and when you want to do that you want to utilize the cusp tool. So that's just right mouse clicking and going to cusp. Very simple to do. Um, you want to take some time to play around with these tools but please remember that uh, in order to utilize the cusp tool you do have to change um, the node type it has to be smooth before turning it to a cusp in order to have it work. So now I can click on this node and you can see I have those points back and I can drag them to wherever I want them and it doesn't affect the other side. 
So it's a really neat, really neat little little tool that you have to use here, and uh, you can quickly and easily, easily really modify objects. Now let's take a look at this design. Let's say that you have curves in a design, but what you really want is straight lines. You know, you want these to be straight lines. You can just come in here. I'm going to right mouse click and go to edit. I just want to see the outlines. I'm going to come in here and select each one of these nodes here. I'm going to hold down control and select each one so that it selects them all at the same time. Let's say I just want to stop right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right mouse click and click on line. And let's right mouse click. You see what that did? Every node that I had selected, it changed it into a straight line. Because I didn't have this node selected or this one, you can see that it is still curved. So it's very unique, very neat how you can you can really go in and modify lines. And this will work with any fill stitch pattern um, that you have up on your screen. And so it's very important that you take the time to really go in and edit designs and play around with the edit features because I, I think you'll find that it is uh, the Floriani Total Control software gives you so much control over your designs, allows you to really get in there and really modify them. So it's worth taking some time to play around with the, the points or the nodes and modify them so that you can get familiar with editing your designs. Um, please note that this lesson you will find a step-by-step -step tutorial inside of the workbook that you received when you purchased the software.